friends. I miss making art with you so much. And I miss going to the museum. So I'm cr trying to create an alternative. And this is what I have so far. I have an art lesson today. We're going to view one example of each artist's work and I'm going to tell you which gallery they're in. But the normal things we talk about when we go on museum visits. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to um, give you some homework. Um, as we normally do in class, we can turn this into a geography lesson. That's my cat. We can turn this into it. That's Bernadette, B the kitten, who's no longer a kitten. We can turn this into a geography lesson, a language lesson, a writing lesson, a math lesson, and you can make art from this lesson. So a lot of times what we talk about is we talk about a certain period of art or a style of art. And today, that period of art is called Fauvism. Fauvism. And Fauvism came from the <coughs> French words for, that's my cat, cat again, sorry, le fauves, which means the wild beasts. So a long time ago in the 1900s, this period was only, it was a short period. You know one of the artists who started this period, his name was Henry Matisse. He started this period, this Fauvism period, with his friend, Andre Durand. So here's Henry Matisse and Andre Durand. And they had their first exhibit of Fauvism, just exhibiting, this was before it even had a name. And what an art critic called it was, they, they, an art critic called Henry and Andre the wild beasts. Because what they were doing with their art was wild and crazy at the time. They weren't painting realistic pictures anymore. They were using much less detail, so they were just using form, and their colors were very bold and unrealistic. Um, and that seemed wild and crazy at the time. Wild and crazy. In fact, when, let's see, when Henry Matisse, he sold his, the woman in the hat, which was his wife in a hat, you can look up that, that picture if you need to, that painting. He sold that piece to a woman. I don't remember the relation to him. I don't remember at the time. This is just a story I recall. And her husband thought it looked like someone threw paint on a canvas. So that's how wild and crazy it seemed at the time. Because it didn't, you know, the painting didn't have her skin color um, the background was just a whole bunch of colors. It wasn't an actual setting or a scene. There are a lot of things, if you look at that painting, you'll notice. So these are the artists who we're going to study from Mia today. Um, I've mentioned Henry Matisse and Andre Durand. So I have Raoul Duffy. Now, his work that we're going to view is not on view. I'm not sure that we've seen it. We have seen um, Jean Mitsanji's work. We ha um, I'm not sure if we've seen Georges Brock. We have seen, wait, I'm not sure if we've seen this one either. But Georges Braque is on view, and so is um, 
Jean Mitchanzi's. Henry Matisse's is on view. I know that you'll remember Andre Durand's. A lot of you stop at Andre Durand's and a lot of you stop at Jean, it's hard for me to pronounce Jean's last name, Mitanji, I believe. It's really hard. They're all, they're, I think they're all French. Yes, they're all French. Of course they are. They're all French. So I will, Remember, if you want to write these down, which you love doing, you can pause the video and write this down. So, Andre Durand's is in Gallery 371. Remember how we do this? And the title is London, St. Paul's Cathedral, seen from Thames. And Thames is a river in England. So you will see boats and you will see a church-like structure. And the next image you see will be Henry Matisse, his boy with a butterfly net, which a lot of you see. Do you remember how big it is? The boy is actually much taller than probably I am. It's a large piece. Now, when you look at Henry Matisse's Boy with a Butterfly Net, you'll see that the background is just, it's, it's, it, was, it, was a, it was wild at the time because there wasn't a lot of detail. You'll see that it's land and sky. And that even the boy is much less realistic. Um, so much less like a photo you would see of a boy. And more so of what, um, a lot of fauvism is what we imagine in our mind, we, we, or what we see in our mind, or how we'd like to see it, rather than what it really is. So how we'd like to see it, rather than what it really is. Um, the next one is Raoul Dufy, and um, again, this is one that isn't on view and I don't think anyone has seen, but I wanted to include it. Um, I, so this is Epson. The title of the work is Epson. It's a town in England, and this is the one of the sketches of the horses and the people, which look like maybe the town square. Or something and you'll see that a lot of the lines aren't finished and a lot of the color doesn't fill in the entire form or shape and that's what makes it fauvism a lot of the colors aren't realistic okay the next one Georges Raoul, The Crucifixion. Um, so instead of a lot of bright colors, which we have been seeing, um, here this artist uses really, like almost paint that's squirted out of the tube directly onto the canvas and then uses a palette knife to move it around or a paintbrush to move it around. Really thick paint. 